Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 23rd to the 24th. Um, this is for whoever it resonates with. It's not going to resonate with everybody. We're going to get one of these, and we're going to use these. Um, first of all, I want to say Merry Christmas. Thank you for uh, your patience. I didn't do one yesterday because the holiday season. I'm out running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Um, I want to say thank you to the people that have sent me uh, gifts via PayPal, donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So now we're going to get started. 23rd to the 24th for whoever this resonates with. Let's get one of these and see whatever comes up. Let your friends help you. Ask for an experience and accept support from others. That's good advice, isn't it? Can you let your friends help you? Can you? Maybe you're going to need some some help at this time. Maybe you're lonely. It's it's the holiday season. Maybe you're alone and you need your friends. Maybe something happens and you may need a little support. Whatever the case is, let your friends help you. You don't need to be alone if you're going through struggle, if you're feeling alone, if you're feeling sad, whatever the case is. Maybe, you know, sometimes, yes, isolation is needed, but sometimes you may need to see things from a different perspective. Let your friends help you. Let's see what else we can get. The thinking woman. Imagine that. Blossoming abundance. This woman's thinking about her abundance. She's thinking about all that she has acquired, you know, internal and external. She's thinking about her future. She's thinking about the next chapter. She's thinking about starting a new chapter and ending the last one. You know, she just, she is. She's gained a lot of knowledge over the past year. She has. All the, all the stuff that she's read, all the stuff that she's learned, she's gained a lot. She has. And she's thinking about, you know, where am I going? What story do I want to read next? Which, 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 which book, okay? Which, which book do I want to open? What story, which, which road do I want to go down? What are my dreams? What are my desires? What are my wishes? What, where am I? Who am I now? <laughs> Ooh. Contract. Wonderful. So, yeah, we have somebody who has been stuck in their thoughts, stuck in a spot that they didn't want to be in, or maybe they were comfortably stuck, you know, and now it's like some sort of truth has been revealed, okay, this is the, the honest communication, the fifth chakra, okay, this is the chakra of communication, throat chakra, so somebody has received some sort of guidance in regards to where they should go in the future, you know? These are, this is an 11. This is a 12. Which is a 13. So it looks like this woman has been waiting for some sort of communication from somebody. Perhaps this person has been stuck, not communicating, conflicted in their own mind. While this person has been stuck, she has been gaining independence. She has. She's been gaining independence and she's been gaining abundance. 
And now she's wondering if this old story is even worth completing. Is it even worth finishing? Is it even worth, you know, going to the end? Should I just grab a new book? Should I grab a new story? Is this contract over? Again, we have some books here. So I think this we have a woman that is thinking about what is going to be the best option to keep my life balanced and harmonious. You have to make a decision here. She's in the process of making a decision about her story, about her life, a major life decision here. And she's been, she may have been, you know, in denial, in denial for quite some time. But it looks like deep down she knows what she needs to do. She knows. She's done a lot of work to keep things balanced and things are finally balanced. They are. Things are finally balanced out for this woman. What happens next, dear God, angel, spirits, and universe? What happens next? Oh, boy. Now we got somebody who wants to, wants to uh, help. Oh, well, they appreciate, too. Uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, goodness. Door to spirit. Man holding coin. Whew. Oh, God. Let's shuffle. So, yeah, we have this woman who's thinking about um, letting somebody into her life. Now, when it says let your friends help you, we have we have a caring connection here where, you know, this woman has probably been independent. This is probably an independent woman who has an opportunity to become a partnership with somebody, but she's really conflicted about it. She's really conflicted, you know. She, This is an independent woman. We definitely have an independent woman who has found her, her own abundance. She's done a lot of growing. She has uh, really flourished. She's really flourished. And now we have somebody that's coming in with an offer. Some sort of communication is coming in from a man... <laughs> That has been stuck. He's been stuck. And he's been keeping her stuck or not. I mean, this could go both ways because we got thousands and thousands and thousands of people watching this. Somebody has been stuck in a predicament that they didn't need to be stuck in. All they had to do was open their mouth and speak their truth, but they didn't. They didn't. For some reason, they, they just couldn't do it. But it looks as though somebody is going to open up their mouth and speak their truth. They're not being divinely guided to do so. Interesting. We have somebody that now is really sees a woman's worth. They do. We, I mean, we have somebody here that sees a woman's worth. They see her beauty. They see her her abundance. And they want to they wanna partner up with her. And she just is like, I don't know. 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 So, door to personal healing and happiness. So, yeah, we have a uh, very The, we have a decision. We have a decision that needs to be made. Okay? This woman, and, it's, and this is a woman, okay? We have a woman that has to make a decision in regards to allowing this person into her life. You know? Do I, do I want this? Do I want this? Um... Is this, is this really supposed to be part of my story? Is this part of the script? Is this the book that I want to read? Is this the, is this the connection that I want to have? She's thinking about it. Is this is the, so? Yeah, we have a, we have a we have a female here that is thinking about her partnership. 
Okay, she's thinking about her partnership. Whether she's independent or not, she's like, do I even want this? Do I want a partnership right now? Do I want the person I'm with? Um, do I want to allow this person into my life? Whatever the case is. She's, she's quite abundant on her own, whoever this woman is. She's very abundant. She's very respected. Um... She's comfortable and she's ready for love. She is ready for love. She is. And she's very proud of all the work that she has done. And it looks like we have this, this masculine that is coming in with some sort of golden opportunity, right? He's coming in with an offer, something solid, something stable. He's a plan and he's planned it. He's planned it just right. He has. That's probably, maybe that's why he's been stuck because he's been planning. He wanted to be stable. He wanted to be secure. He wanted to... Make sure that he had something really good to offer. He didn't want to come in, you know, with nothing, you know. So this is a very practical, wise, uh, generous, uh, loyal individual who doesn't just come with anything. I mean, he has something to offer. So we do have a masculine here that sees that this woman is worth something solid. So he's coming in with a solid offer, something, okay. And I feel like this woman is, not only has he been stuck, and I think he's been stuck trying to work on his own abundance, she's been stuck too. She's been stuck with bringing balance. You know, she needed to just bring some balance and some peace and some harmony back to her life. She had to heal from something door to personal healing and happiness, okay? This woman had to bring balance back to her life, and so didn't he. They both did before they could come together in this connection, okay? So it looks to me like we have a connection that is being proposed. We have a proposal here, you know, uh, do you, can we be together? You know, I'd like to, uh, you know, will you go out with me? You know, that kind of thing. Will you, will you uh, consider me or... Something like that. You're gonna. There's gonna be some sort of communication that comes through um, from somebody that says, you know, I'm good. I'm I'm right where I'm at. Or they don't even need to tell you that. They're coming through with the communication that they would like some sort of maybe it's a commitment or even a date. I don't know. Um, they want to go out on a date. There's something like that. Because they're ready. Both people are ready after being stuck for quite some time. But this woman is like, you know what? Yeah, she's ready. She is ready. But she's like, I don't, you know, in order for me to, you know, accept your offer, I might have to close this book. So interesting, 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 interesting. Um, there's been a lot of healing. There's been a lot of uh, growth, um, and it looks as though somebody is re receiving some sort of blessing. I mean, a rainbow is a blessing. Somebody is receiving some sort of blessing for, for allowing um, something to play out as it should. You know what I mean? Because, I mean... Somebody has allowed time for things to grow, allowed time for things to heal themselves. They've been patient. They've allowed growth. And it's like now the, 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 the spirits, okay, the spirits are bringing a divine connection. This is a seven, a divine connection after this person has broken free from some sort of internal conflict from healing. Okay, so this is a five. This is a five. This is a five. Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. Major life changes, major life, life choices. This woman has a choice. This woman has a choice to make in regards to her, her future, you know. Um, her life is, is pretty balanced right now. She's worked hard. She's worked hard to heal, and no, no doubt. And we have this, and it, it, this could be a man as well, okay? We have a man, same same kind of predicament, that has really been stuck. And he had to heal as well. So I see that both people have done some healing. 
Now, I feel like now these two people are going to be brought together by spirit. But there's a feeling of, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm so good. I'm so good where I'm at. I'm so good, you know, with myself that I'm not sure that I, I want to let this connection grow, you know. So I do feel as though there is going to be some sort of communication that comes in that, you know, proposes the question, do you do you want to do you want to you want to go out on a date with me? Do you want to go do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? Do you want to be in a partnership? Do you want to do you want to commit something like that? Could be even a proposal, a marriage proposal for some of you. Um there's good definitely going to be some honest truthful communication that comes through. It's divinely guided that you know, it's the answer. It's the answer to your prayers. Maybe it's your subconscious prayers, but when you get get this proposal, when you get this offer, it's like, oh my God, this will change my life forever. You know, so I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I if I want to accept this offer. So it looks as though there's going to be an offer here in which there's going to be some sort of decision that needs to be made. Do I want to go down this road? Do I want to go down this road? Do I want to? I feel as though whoever this reading is for, there's been a lot of healing. There's been a lot of uh, happiness gained through independence. Okay? There has. There has. And now it's like both of these people are ready because they have healed. They're ready to come together, but they're fearful. They're fearful of making the wrong decision. They're... That, I mean, that's what this is. So let's get some advice here. <laughs> let's get some advice. Now, we had, do have somebody here that has, you know, a woman that has, her abundance has really, really grown. I mean, she's abundant. She's, she's healthy. She's uh, stable. She's secure. She's... She's very comfortable with who she is. And when you get to this point of being very, very abundant and just enjoying the finer things in life, when you get to this point where everything is going smoothly and you're no longer um, stuck on the past or stuck wherever you've been, that's when the opportunity comes in. That's the, that's just the way it goes. That's when the true, true, stable, solid opportunity comes in. When you find your own abundance, when you appreciate yourself, that's when the other person's going to appreciate you. That's when you're going to get the opportunity of a lifetime. And this could absolutely be an opportunity of a lifetime. It absolutely could be. Because this person could could be the one that brings in the balance and the harmony to your life that you've really been looking for. It could be the ultimate partner. This could be somebody that you have a past life contract with that is coming into your life. But I don't know if this is um, somebody old or somebody new. Ugh. Whoever this person is, this man that is coming in, is very, uh, he has good intentions. He has an open heart. He's mastering his emotions at this time. He is, uh, <laughs> he's, he's really happy. I mean, he's coming in with a, a really He's thinking positive. He's 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 really being positive. He's coming out of his shell. He's coming in with a genuine offer of love. So we do have somebody that's coming in with a genuine offer of love. Okay, so it looks as though we have a, a, a masculine, okay, that may <laughs> may be really opening his heart. He appreciates this woman, and he's coming with some sort of gift. He is. Interesting. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Turning away from something. Whoever this person is, whether it's you, you may turn him away. I don't know. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles reversed. It's like turning away. It's like turning this away. 
You know, maybe they turned away, turned you away in the past. This could be somebody from the past. Or this could be you deciding, you know what, I don't think that I want this relation. I want this. Or this could be the person that turned you away in the past and now they want to come back. They, they want to defend themselves. Okay, somebody is is wanting to defend themselves. I think it's after after uh, breaking some sort of contract. They want somebody is coming with the truth. They have been divinely guided. Perhaps the somebody that you know has passed away, or or a spirit guide, or has been giving them messages angels whatever somebody has been giving some them some messages that they need to go after what they want so somebody has been receiving some sort of messages you got to go get it 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 go get that go get that go get that before you lose it oh my god you know hold on before it's over you know the, the death card reverse somebody is being told not to release something that's what it looks like to me. <laughs> She's a girl. Don't let go. Or, or <laughs> that's what I just heard. Don't let go. I don't like to give that kind of advice. Damn. Don't go. Don't go. And maybe maybe this person is saying, don't go. Don't go. I don't want you to go. I don't want you to go. And this woman is being presented with a decision. Perhaps, you know, somebody is wanting you to choose them. And you're just like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, yeah, I'm not sure if we are compatible. I'm not sure if this is going to bring any peace to my life. I've done a lot of healing. I've done a lot of work. And I'm not sure that we're compatible anymore. So I do believe that somebody is going to receive a gift or some sort of communication from somebody who wants to put in effort. But it's like there's been a lot of arguments, there's been a lot of feuds, there's been a lot of fights, there has, there's been a lot of drama. Now we have the, a person that, both people have, whoever these people are, have done a lot of healing, a lot of healing. And now there's an opportunity for two people to come together, but there's fear of messing up my peaceful serene life life is good life is good it is so huh. yeah there's another opportunity I think there's a better opportunity you know so we have this person that has to make a choice you know there's a better opportunity there's a better opportunity And I realize that. I realize that there's a better opportunity for love. And they don't want to get themselves into an unrealistic situation, right? Where it's dissatisfying. So it looks to me like we have somebody that is coming back after they have been stuck in their own prison. Their own mental prison. They have been stuck there. They have been stuck in a predicament and probably a relationship or something that they didn't want to be in. And now they are probably getting unstuck and they want to fight for something before it is too late. Um, before the, the love is gone, you know, before it's completely dead. Um, there was a contract. I mean, this is the lovers reversed and then we have this contract basically, I mean, very similar very similar energy but one of them is reversed it's like there's a contract that ended because of incompatibility 
Now, this person may have ended a contract with somebody else that they were incompatible with, and now they want to fight for you. They want you. So I don't know who this is for. Now, could this be somebody brand new? It absolutely could. There's probably a choice between two, okay? If you are the woman especially, okay? There is. We have this, or the man, because there's two women here. There's two women here, and there's two men. So we have, if for for whoever's watching this, there's, there's a choice between two. There's a choice between two women, and there's a choice between two men. One of these men, or women, um, is more stable than the other. And the other one is more loving. <laughs> wonderful. Ain't that a wonderful choice? So, you know, somebody has to make a choice. A choice between two lovers. And, uh... They may, may have made the choice, and now they're coming through with some sort of communication that, you know, will you go out with me? And now we have to make this decision to say yes or no. So it looks like somebody's going to be forced with making a decision, you know. <laughs> yeah, decision-making time. So, yeah, there's a choice. I think there's a choice between two lovers here, this woman or... You know, it could be a man because we have, it could be anybody. We have somebody here that is needing to make a decision. Which chapter? Which book? Where am I going? What do I want? I mean, the very first card. I think it's, I do think it's the woman. I think the woman has to decide which one do I want. She has an opportunity for a partnership. But does she want it? Does she want it? So yeah, we have this woman who is in the process of making a decision as to which one is the best opportunity for me, you know? And maybe that's why Let Your Friends Help You comes up because ask your friends and accept support from others. Perhaps, you know, sometimes you need your friends to, to check you, to check you, to remind you, to remind you. But then again, you know, sometimes... You shouldn't listen to your friends. And that's why we have this thinking woman here. It's like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Yeah, it's good to get advice from your friends. It is. But keep in mind that the ultimate decision boils down to you and your heart. How you truly feel. Don't let your friends fuck up your life because of something that happened to them. Or because, you know, they're, oh, you know, you, whatever. Just don't. You follow your heart. That's what I'm telling you. Follow your heart. So anyway, I feel like there's an opportunity here that is being offered to a woman. There's two opportunities. And she has to make a choice. Same with the man. Man or woman. There's two opportunities. But I do feel like it's the, the man is making the offer. Okay? This, the offer is coming from the man. He is being divinely guided to make some sort of offer. He is. Both the offers are in the man's hands, okay? So we have a man that is coming through with some sort of offer. Perhaps, you know, he has just gotten a divorce or he has gotten out of a relationship, you know? And now he's, he's, maybe it's not even just. Maybe it's completely ended, you know? He, I, maybe that's what, maybe he was stuck. I don't know. Maybe he was stuck in another relationship. Maybe he was with a woman that was keeping him stuck. Who knows? We have this we have this this person that has probably ended a relationship that is coming forward to fight for you. Perhaps they got in, involved in some unrealistic dissatisfying situation and now they realize that the better opportunity would have been you or it's you and they're going for you. So that's what I see. That's what I see. And let's get one of these just for the heck of it. We have some sort of truthful, honest communication coming in. There's no doubt about it. After somebody has been stuck for quite some time. And they were stuck in a contract that was unrequited love. Somebody was stuck in a contract that was not compatible. But, you know, and I think they held on to it for quite some time. Something like that. I don't know. Choosing 
your path. I told you they're making a choice. Definitely somebody's making a choice. There's no doubt about it. Choosing your path. It's... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All is possible. New vistas, vistas are ahead. And you have the power to choose. And this is what's going on here. Definitely making a choice. There's no doubt about it. And within this is your freedom. Do not allow the restrictions and limitations placed on you by the ex expectations of others. Deter your path. I just got done telling you about your friends. I'm going to read this part again. New vistas or vistas are ahead and you have the power to choose and within this is your freedom. Do not allow the restrictions and limitations placed on you by the expectations of others deter or deter, say whatever way you want, deter your path. Be daring. Cast aside conventions and restrictions. And be careful what your friends tell you. That's why that card came up. Yeah, you can get their advice. But when it boils right down to it, they don't live your life. They don't know how you feel. They don't know who you love. They don't know. They don't know. Cast aside conventions and restrictions. Dance, laugh, explore. Go beyond your predictable behavior. Say yes to life. Support others in stepping, you support others in stepping into their freedom. Interesting. Choose life on your terms. Choose life on your terms. Your terms. Move beyond those situations that you've outgrown. Sometimes to be free, the traveler needs to put down his pack and just keep walking. There are times to live an ordinary life, but there are also times to cast ordinary things aside and fling your arms to the heavens in joy. Enjoy. You're not on the planet to always meet the needs and expectations of others. You're here to explore, expand, and step into your extraordinary self. Don't unconditionally accept the rules you have placed on yourself or that others have placed on you. Choose pathways that lead to greater freedom and happiness. You have an opportunity for wish fulfillment. At the end of the rainbow is a pot of gold, okay? You've done a lot of work. You've done a lot of healing. The other person, whoever's coming into your life, whether this is somebody new or somebody old, they have as well. Follow your heart. You're free to choose whoever you want. Don't let other people hold you back. You have an opportunity for a wonderful connection here. The choice is yours. Good luck. Thank you for the donations. Thank you. Merry Christmas.